Asura's Wrath is a game that has realistically gone under a lot of radars. It's, it's a strange, I guess, a strange concept unto itself. It's a Japanese game with very Indian Thai looking deities um, based in like, the, they're like gods, but they're from space and they're stopping like giant, like red zombie elephants. The concept is crazy. However, the execution itself is absolutely fantastic and I believe that this is one of the most under, I guess, underappreciated, underrealized gems of the year so far. Let us cut to the chase. I'll kill you myself! Now the presentation on this is fantastic. The, the actual structure itself is set up like anime episodes. So every 30 minute block of the game has literally an ad break in the middle, like a, a cut, like a like the anime do, like one frame, in, like one lead in, one lead out, goes into the rest of the episode. The end of the episode, it goes to be continued. It starts like a bit of a, um, like a, a preview thing at the start of the next one. The actual presentation itself is fantastic. The graphics look pretty good. There are some parts where you look at and go, oh, that's a bit, uh, icky here and there, a couple of sand glitches, but this is one of those games that the English dub is actually pretty good, but this has to be played in Japanese. I mean, it's a game where you play like a deity who is like literally screaming at everything, bashing the hell out of everything, and just absolutely raging out, and it just has to be played in Japanese. So I guess the presentation for this one, I'm gonna give an eight out of 10. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The gameplay is a little bit, it's, this is going to be the one that divides a lot of people. The fighting itself when you're running around fighting is very simple hack and slash, well not hack and slash, beat em up kind of mechanics. I guess when you go into the, the I guess, the other parts of the game, which are effectively like interactive cutscenes. There's a lot of quick time events, which is going to turn a lot of people off, but this game is something that needs to be experienced. And while I guess the mechanics of the gameplay aren't necessarily the strongest point of the game, it doesn't necessarily detract from the experience. They're solid enough to do the job. That said, gameplay, 6 out of 10. All up, the game should technically be a 7, but this is where I'm going to bump it back up to an 8. This is an experience. This is something that has to be experienced. And it may not necessarily be a cup of tea, but it's something you won't forget once you start playing it. And I guess the, the very simple storyline, the way that they've they've like put the two worlds together and shown this real this the, I can't spoil it. It's just too great a story, too well told. And I think something that everybody really seriously needs to experience.